Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Brandon Wynn, this is Critical Failure. So we're on the Drow now, so this is going to be kind of quick. They're the Dark Elves, some subterranean uh, race of elves that have sunlight sensitivity and worship Loth in the more evil aspect of the uh, elven pantheon. So yeah, uh, we're on the Arachnomancer. Yeah, Arachnomancer, sorry, I had to really read that up close. Which is a medium humanoid elf and chaotic evil. They have an average AC of 15, studded leather, average hit points of 162, 25 D8, plus 50, and a 30-foot uh, movement speed and 30-foot climbing speed, strength of 11, plus 0, dexterity of 17, plus 3, constitution of 14, plus 2, intelligence of 19, plus 4, wisdom, 14, plus 2, and charisma, 16, plus 3. They have uh, saving throws of constitution, intelligence, and charisma, seven nine and eight respectively which means that it's a plus five for their proficiency proficiency bonus they have a skills uh, in arcana nature perception and uh stealth nine nine seven eight respectively they uh, are resistant to poison and they have blind sight up to, uh, to 10 feet and dark vision up to 120 feet and passive perception of 17. Languages are elvish, undercommon, and can speak with spiders. That's fucking terrifying. And a challenge rating 13. They can change shape, recharges after a short long rest. The drow can use a bonus action to magically polymorph into a giant spider remaining in that form up to an hour and revert to its true form as a bonus action. Statistics other than its size are the same in each form. It can speak and cast spells when a giant spider form. Any equipment it's wearing or carrying and in humanoid form melds into the giant spider form it can't activate use wield or otherwise benefit from any equipment it uses until it reverts or it reverts into its humanoid form when it dies fey ancestry drow have advantage on saving throws against being charmed and magic can't put the drow to sleep innate spell casting the drow innately spell uh innate spell cast ability is charisma spell save dc is 16 can cast at will dancing lights and once a day darkness fairy fire and levitate on itself only spell casting is a 16th level spell caster uh okay, i already went through the, all that it's a plus eight to hit its attacks regains expended spell slots when it finishes a short or long rest as known and it knows a for the following warlocks uh, spells cantrips at will trail touch aldrich blast mage hand and poison spray first through fifth level spells it has three five level spell slots uh or three fifth level spell slots, Conjure, Animals, Spiders specifically, Crown of Madness, Dimension Door, Dispel Magic, Fear, Fly, Giant Insect, Hold a Monster, Insect Plague, Visibility, Vampiric Touch, Web, and Witch Bolt, Witch Bolt's really cool. Uh, once a day can cast Dominate Monster, Etherealness, and Eye Bite. It can spider climb, so it can climb difficult surfaces, including upside down and ceilings without making uh, ability check. It has sunlight sensitivity, so it has disadvantages on attack rolls, in sunlight, as well as perception checks that rely on sight, and web walker, the drow ignores movement restriction caused by webbing. Its actions can make two poisonous touch attacks or two bite attacks. The first of these attacks that hit each round deals an extra 26 40 12 damage to the target. Poisonous touch, humanoid form only. Uh, melee weapon attack plus 8 to 8, reach a 5 feet, 1 target only. 28 8 d6 poison damage. The bite, giant spider form only. Melee weapon attack, plus 7 to hit, reach of 5 feet, 1 target only, average 12, 2d8, plus 3 piercing damage, and the target must make a DC 15 constitution save. Taking 26, 40, 12 poison damage on a failed save, or half as much on a successful one, the poison, the poison damage reduced the target to 0 hit points. The target is stable, but poisoned for 1 hour, even after gaining health points, and the para is paralyzed while poisoned in this way. Web, giant spider form only. Recharge rate of 5 or 6, range weapon attack, plus 8 to hit, range of 30 to 60 feet, uh, one target only. Uh, the target is restrained by webbing as a reaction. The restrained target can make a DC 15 strength save, bursting the webbing on a success. The webbing can be attacked and destroyed, AC 10, H point, uh, HP of 5, vulnerable to fire damage, immune to bludgeoning, poison, and psychic damage. And that is... The Arachnomancer are drow spellcasters who seek to devote themselves wholly to the Spider Queen, sometimes walk in the dark path of the Arachnomancer, offering up body and soul to Loth. They gain tremendous power and a supernatural connection to ancient spiders of the demon web pits, channeling magic from that dread place. I feel like they can only be females because that's usually how that works. They do like female specific type of things. But uh, yeah, that's the drow Arachnomancer. Uh, 
like I said, the Drought really are a really cool player race to me, and I would like to do a deep dive with them. I know I did something on the Arakokra, and I was writing a lot of it, but sadly, I genuinely don't even have that USB anymore. I don't think. I think it might be in my book bag. I'm not sure anymore. It's gone, and I would have to rewrite everything uh, on it. I went through every edition that I could find, writing the averages in each individual, like, like detail of it uh in my own wording and using it and i would source things when i had to and stuff like that which i don't like doing but i would and i just think it's really cool but uh i can't wait to get to the drow part of that because i'm trying to do each monster in order but uh yeah thank you guys for watching please leave a like and subscribe as i bring you more D, &D content in the future please shoot for 15 video uh views on this video as I'm trying to kind of <laughs> bring my views up and please please subscribe as I am trying to hit 30 viewers uh, 30 subscribers by the end of next month uh, that would be amazing but thank you guys I really do appreciate y'all watching my content each like is a big deal to me so please have a great night see ya